AI is affecting scientific discovery in many ways. In its simplest form, it, um, it just accelerates data analysis and it enables, enables us to capture and to use um, the more complex and larger data sets that we are collecting. Oak Ridge has very large facilities that generate a lot of data, more than we can process and analyze in our, with our current capabilities. AI will, will change that, allows us to mine the data, to find correlations that we would not discover otherwise. National laboratories are really excellent places to conduct quantum research because it's a very interdisciplinary branch where we have to take advantage of physics, computer science, material science, and mathematics. And all of these different areas have to converge. Some of ORL's top quantum accomplishments center around quantum sensing, quantum computing, and quantum networking. In particular, in the computing space, we've been able to use supercomputing resources in order to do comparisons and benchmarking of quantum systems. The sheer scale of resources at ORNL, such as Summit, allow us to tackle large-scale problems and effectively put the word big in big data. We are pushing the boundaries of big across multiple dimensions, including compute and storage. And as we see the data generating technologies becoming pervasive, um, we're experiencing a data-driven revolution in many scientific domains that deal with complex systems. Uh, for example, in biology, in uh, cosmology, climate, uh, engineering, even finance, just to name a few. Frontier is along the same lines as, as Summit in the sense that it's got CPUs and GPUs. It can do well over an exaflop of capability uh, in the double precision floating point world, but it's going to do, you know, tens of exaflops in the half precision world. So it is an amazingly powerful um, architecture. We've talked about quantum in the con on the context of accelerated node architecture. We've talked about AI as the way that you're going to build models from data as opposed to models from first principles. And we've talked about you know the fact that we're building this kind of exascale e ecosystem, but it's the way that we think about how we're connecting computers to other instruments like microscopes or neutron scattering devices or these kinds of things, and those are our initiatives. Awesome.